The Boeing B-52 Stratofortress is a long-range heavy bomber, essential in the defense policy of the United States to carry out strategic attacks, close air support, air interception or operations against anti-aircraft and anti-ship defenses. And as if this were not enough, it also stands out for being capable of flying at subsonic speeds at altitudes of 15,240 meters, transporting nuclear or conventional ammunition, which can be launched with complete precision at any point on the planet thanks to its direct flight range. All of this makes the B-52 an iconic and quite particular aircraft. But, if there is something that definitely makes it special, it is that it has eight turbofan engines. This is presented as one of the characteristics that attracts the most attention and that strongly differentiates it from the rest of the aircraft of the United States Air Force. Therefore, today we will tell you all the most important details of this legendary plane and its peculiar operation. Are you ready? Let's get started. Let's start by talking a bit about its design. Because the Boeing B-52 Stratofortress went through several stages, from the first straight-wing prototype powered by six turboprop engines to the final swept-wing YB-52 prototype powered by eight turbojets mounted in pairs on four underwing pylons. This came about on October 21, 1948, when Boeing was asked to create an entirely new airplane using the most modern turbojets of the time. This is how the Pratt and Whitney J-57 appeared. But the real question is, what was the reason why such a huge number of engines had to be incorporated? The origin of that decision was quite simple. Since the Pratt and Whitney was the model chosen to power the B-52 and had just 11,400 pound force of thrust, it took eight of these engines to successfully propel the massive strata fortress off the ground. Due to its large size and low engine power, four of them were not enough to lift it off the runway. However, with the goal of making it more efficient, the aircraft was redesigned several times. Range became a major concern, as the J-57S were excessively fuel-guzzling and often possessed less thrust than other engines that began to run concurrently. From this, from the North American Air Force, numerous options were analyzed. These included the possibility of starting to use only four engines. But the costs for such changes were very high. The final solution was to moderately modify the engines of the existing Boeing B-52s. Thus, in the 1960s, the original J-57S were replaced by the Pratt and Whitney TF-33 turbofans. These contributed 17,000 pound force each, bringing the total to 136,000. And, from that moment, they never stopped accompanying this iconic aircraft. But making use of those types of engines has its difficulties, and one of them is that they require regular maintenance to guarantee their optimal performance and provide the safety that is needed in the air. The frequency of this check depends on several factors, the age of the engine used, the number of flight hours achieved, the operating conditions and the actual maintenance history. In some particular cases, complete engines are taken offline and replaced with refurbished models. Then, the extracted piece is sent to a particular reform of the Air Force to be reviewed and finally restored. Once its optimal functioning is guaranteed, these eight companions become a fundamental element. When powering a long-range bomber like the B-52, it's really important to have that many engines, and especially that particular model, the Pratt and Whitney TF-33s are incredibly durable and reliable pieces. However, there are also not-so-favorable aspects linked to its practical use. One is that the B-52's powerful engines can take a long time to warm up for a flight and since the Strata Fortress is a strategic bomber, there are situations where the aircraft needs to take off quickly. But the solutions to this inconvenience were not long in coming. A team of B-52 engineers invented a new way to get the aircraft up and running quickly. 
The process consists of inserting various cartridges similar to shotgun cartridges into the engines. Upon detonation, they create huge plumes of smoke that shoot out of the rear of each engine. Thus, a considerable volume of pressurized gas is delivered in a short period of time by cranking the compressor to start almost immediately. Although there is a risk of fire if done incorrectly, this method can get a B-52 off the ground in less than 10 minutes. However, the US authorities think that all this could be avoided if their power plants had greater capacities. The possibility of changing the engine of the B-52, reducing it to four or even two more efficient modern engines, has been repeatedly discussed. However, the structure and geometry of the plane were not designed for this. At the moment, the easiest option is to get eight new engines of similar size, weight and power to the TF-33, but much more current and effective. And this is what is planned to be done soon, since according to the United States Air Force, the Pratt & Whitney will no longer be sustainable beyond 2030. Because of this, it is estimated that the bombers will receive new power plants in the next 15 years. But who will replace the TF-33 that has powered the B-52 since the 1960s? The answer to that question is the promising new Rolls-Royce F-130 engine. Rolls-Royce F-130 engines were selected in September 2021 after an arduous process of evaluation and competition with other bidders. With more than 600 new deliveries expected and a $2.6 billion contract, testing of the new engines has begun at NASA's Stennis Space Center in Mississippi. The goal is to replace the eight Pratt & Whitney TF-33 engines with four RB211 engines, which would give the aircraft a total thrust of four times 37,400 pound force. In this way, an 18% power increase would be achieved with respect to current engines. The Rolls-Royces would generate a noticeable increase in the range and payload of the aircraft. And as if this were not enough, they would significantly reduce fuel consumption. Thanks to the new addition, these veteran aircraft will be able to extend their operational life, increase energy efficiency, increase their range and significantly reduce both maintenance and operational costs. According to experts in the field, the first two fully modified B-52s are scheduled to be delivered by the end of 2025 and undergo extensive ground and flight testing. This change will make it possible for this mythical bomber to fly until at least the year 2050. At which time it will be in service for almost a century. These were the most important features of the Boeing B-52 Stratofortress. We have reached the end of our video and we want to thank you for accompanying us this far. We meet again in the next episode of Military Aviation.